Welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rick. And today we're, we're going to talk about holiday traditions. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the things that make up our traditions here, and we hope you'll be willing to share some of your traditions as well. Um, growing up in an Italian family, a very large family, uh, I did a lot of traveling and would go up to western Pennsylvania and surrounded by aunts and uncles and cousins and grandparents, etc. Big family. Big. Yeah. <laughs> so we had all, most of our traditions were bound by the kind of the Italian traditions. Uh, whether it be nuts around the table or including, not including my relatives. I was going to say. And, uh, <laughs> or whether the seven fishes on Christmas Eve. We had those types of traditions, midnight mass, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Sarah and I are but we're now a much smaller family. We don't travel at Christmas, but over the 15 years that we've been married, we've come up with some of our own traditions, and we are going to share a couple of those with you. Is there anything that you comes to mind as far as you're concerned, honey? Well, the biggest one is Boxing Day. Um, we have a pretty low-key Christmas. Um, we're not particularly religious, so we do exchange gifts. My mom comes over. She's a, a neighbor. And we exchange gifts. But then the next day, we do a big uh, Boxing Day feast. Um, and this is a British tradition. And when Rick and I were first dating, this was one of the things that we bonded over um, was our, our mutual appreciation of um, e English traditions and, and customs um, and culture. And Boxing Day is the day after Christmas. I guess it was typically a holiday for the servants who would have worked for the families, the rich families, um, and so they got the day off, and the families would give them gifts, and you know, that would be their time to have a feast. It's often a time um, for split families. You know, you might spend um, the Christmas Day with one set of, of relatives, and then spend Boxing Day with the other set or something. Um, right. So, yeah. And we were speaking recently with an Irish friend, and you know, there's another part of that tradition which would just be collecting things for the poor uh, mm -hmm. the day after people would you know it's a bank holiday or a national holiday and so you might go around with a box and collect for the poor because people are going to be home um, our tradition got started pretty much the first year that we were in our first house mm -hmm. so we got married in 2002 we were in our new home in uh, 2003 and our first Christmas there we had a boxing day party I can remember we were frantically trying to finish these chairs and this table. Oh. You don't see the table behind us or right. in front of us that's in front of us, but the chairs, Sarah and I finished ourselves. My father, mm -hmm. um, who was alive at the time, gave us this table and chairs as a kind of a gift, but it was an unfinished table and chairs. Mm -hmm. And so Sarah and I frantically were trying to get this we, ready. Yeah, I think we bought it in October, uh, right around uh, our anniversary is mid-October. And um, then there was a set, I had to come up with like a, a spreadsheet, you know, okay, tonight, uh, put the second coat of varnish on two chairs and do one coat on the tabletop. And we had this whole like, <laughs> get home from work, eat a quick dinner, and then go do refinishing work. And we didn't actually... I we think didn't we, finish. We, we didn't, didn't finish the table. We no, got the we, chairs done, so we had something to sit on. And we did the legs, so that we would see the legs, right. and then we put the tablecloth <laughs> table on it. I it. forgot. That is so funny. That's so, so anyway, nice. that was anyway. our first, yeah, that was our first Boxing Day dinner, mm -hmm. and it, every single year since. So pretty mm -hmm. much every Christmas... Minus our first Christmas together, we've had a Boxing Day party, and we'll mm -hmm. be hosting that this year on the 26th, and it'll be 12 of us around the table. Yep. And I'll show you some of the things that we um, that sort of make it British. Um, but we have Christmas pudding. And we have Christmas uh, crackers. Yep. And uh, what else? We leave our tree up. Um, we often put on some, you know, uh, Christmas carols that are from England for, for you know, atmosphere. Right. Yeah, and then it's just a nice feast, and I try to serve a meal that's a little different. Um, so, of course, in the States, often people people will have either ham or another turkey or something, or a goose for Christmas dinner. So I usually go with like beef, um, just to mix it up from what people have been eating over the holidays. Um, and yeah. as Sarah's saying, so this is our tradition now, whereas when I was growing up, I mean, Christmas Day, again, we don't do a lot. Sarah makes wonderful cinnamon rolls while we, and we have coffee and cinnamon rolls while we open our gifts with my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but otherwise it's pretty laid back on Christmas Day. And that kind of segues well or works well with my traditions. Again, Christmas Eve was the big day for the Italians. Christmas Day was much more low key. 
Um, and the same thing here. Now we're doing Christmas Day is low key. Now it's the day after Christmas that's a little bit busier for us. And mm-hmm. we enjoy that. And as my mom commented me, to me the other day, people really enjoy it too because it's kind of like a... Oh, the, the big stressful family holidays are over. Now we can relax. So I think people really enjoy our Boxing Day That's and true. being able to come and kind of let their hair down a little bit. So sometimes we play silly games after dinner. So Yeah, yeah it's whether fun. it's something like Cards Against Humanity or a party game or whether we rock out to rock band mm-hmm. uh, when people's libations kind of loosen their up a bit and right. they're willing to kind of, again, let their hair down do, a bit. Do karaoke, yeah, it's right. fun. But it's true. Everybody's kind of, for the most part around here, is finished up, whether it's Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. They've done their family obligations, and now we uh, they come over to our house and, uh, and allow us to kind of mm-hmm. show them some holiday spirit on our part. Yeah. The other um, Christmas tradition that I've spoken of in other videos is, of course, knitting. And uh, we have our fun hats on today to you but um rick has a stocking and i'll show a picture of it um from when he was a baby and that inspired my mother and i to have hand knit stockings as well so she and i um each knit each other hand knit stockings so we do hang up stockings we have a tree um and yeah incorporating handcrafts and handmade items is also another tradition that we really enjoy yeah, whether it's ornaments or, mm-hmm. again, as you say, you're knitting, mm-hmm. et cetera, we try Or beer or, or <laughs> yeah. homemade food or whatever. I always bake for our neighbors. Um, so yeah, That's any, one of our favorite of traditions things. that I wanted to talk about as well. So yesterday we got in the car, and even though it's on our road, we might sometimes walk this, but it was kind of yucky out. And we walked and, or excuse me, we drove to each one of our neighbors, dropped off our holiday uh, uh, breads to them, and that is one of my favorite traditions. You know, it's challenging when you're a small family to maybe, especially when you're childless by choice, to have what you might think is a traditional Christmas, but it's what you make of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we go, we help out with the food shelf and we deliver to our friends and neighbors, and that's the, mm-hmm. the thing, the traditions that we think are important yeah. to us. And we also send cards to a, a lot of friends far and wide. We send about 100 cards out every year. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be stressful. And it doesn't have to be mandatory. It can just be fun. Um, and it doesn't have to be expensive or, you know, uh, just bought. Um, it can be handmade and, as Rick said, make, make of it what you want to. So, yeah. So share, share your traditions with us. Comment uh, here on this video or on the blog. And let us know what you do. So, Merry thanks. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for being with us.